Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about two languages which is booming in tech industry. And these are just new B in our tech industry. And guess what? If you learn this language, you can get a position into the top tech companies. Right now, top big brands are only using this language. So if you are a beginner and want to start your career in IT field and unable to decide which language I should go for, then my highly recommendation would be choose any of these two language. Okay, let me clear the cloud first. The languages I am talking about is Golang and Rust. So let's understand in this video, what is Golang? What is Rust? What is the importance of these two languages? Where we are using these two languages in the industry? And what are the companies which are working on these languages? So let's get started. Let's start with Golang. Golang is modeled after C with the intent to compete against C++. Basically, Golang is a statically typed and compiled programming language. Statically typed means very strict when it comes to variable declaration, especially where syntax is concerned. And compiled programming language means compiled programming language are compiled into machine code before execution and they are much faster than the interpreted language. And one of the key feature of Golang is the garbage collection. How important it is for effective memory management. It has one more feature that is concurrently many functions and method can run. So how it will impact? It will improve your functionality. It will improve your efficiency and speed. Now the important point, exact, where exactly we are using it in the industry. So you name it and I say it, we are using it like we can use this language everywhere. Web development, database, network programming, approximately we can use it almost everywhere. And the language I'm talking about today, the Rust and Golang, this language is much faster than any other language we have in the industry. Now let's talk about companies using this language. Yes, as I already told you, all the big brands are using this. All the mostly product based or companies are using this language. So if I talk about Golang, then Google, Dropbox, IBM, SoundCloud, Yahoo, I Facebook, you name it and I say it. Almost every company is, approx every product based is adopting this language. Now let's come to Rust. Before talking about this technology in detail, I have, I have something to say. In my previous videos, I have talked about an app called Next Level by Unacademy. Guys, I have already talked about Next Level and their seasons, you know, in my previous videos. But those who have not heard of Next Level, let me tell you guys, Next Level is a gamified coding competition platform. And on, on that platform, you can have fun gameplay, coding matches with anybody. And you can get the proficiency rating and with the help of that rating you can unlock multiple jobs in top companies and guess what every month in next next level season top three winners can get prizes like macbook ipad kindle but here comes the major benefit your rating unlock the opportunity to interview and get placed in companies like kpmg paytm cashify first cry and many more ये इंडिया के सबसे बड़ी कंपनीज में जॉब लेने का मौका है बस एक गेम खेलकर है ना इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू स्टिल हैव डाउट सो लेट्स मीट द विनर्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट सीजन फ्रंट एंड जनवरी सीजन्स के विनर हैं श्रीहरि रेहान अव्यांश एंड बैक एंड सीजन्स के विनर हैं धीरेंद्र हिमाजा रोहित they have been awarded the apple and kindle goodies on top of this they are interviewing for the companies jo ki maine pehle bata diya tha but guess what you still have a chance you can participate for the february seasons and the leaderboard is up jitna jaldi khel ke jitna zyada match jitoge utna hi zyada chances honge aapke top pe aane ke so hurry up initially aap waiting list mein jaoge kyunki bahut users sign up kar rahe hain all you need to do is either wait for some time which is a slower process or refer some of your friend to quickly clear the waitlist. And as a bonus, five successful referral, aapki puri waitlist clear ho jayegi. So go and check out next level today. Rust is also a typed and compiled programming language. The only key difference is it is designed for safety and concurrency purpose. And it is a mirror of C++, but it does not have a garbage collection. 
Instead, it has a it uses borrow checker to validate memory safety. If I give you a brief history of Rust is uh, Rust was basically invented by Mozilla developer and it took them three years, three releases, three years of releases to make it stand out. So basically what community uh, prefer this language? Kind of a system development, system engineer who work closely on the hardware side of the development, they prefer this language. So as I said, this language is taking inspiration from C++, then I would not, uh, I would consider this language as a, a language which has middle level compatibility. Now the important point, what are the companies using this language? So as I said, it was invented by Firefox. So definitely Firefox, Yelp, Drop, uh, Dropbox, many more. Now the important point, Rust versus Golang, which language I should go for? Okay, so first understand the difference between these two languages. I don't see much difference. The only difference, the major difference is Golang is very easy to learn. In fact, it is easier than Python. And on the other hand, Rust is kind of a complex language. But both these languages are faster than any other language. Okay. Now on some parameter, on some performance, it has been seen like the performance wise Rust is better. But on the other hand, if uh, we see the ease of compatibility e or ease of learning, um, then you can go for Golang. Now, if I talk about ease of development, maintenance, and uh, you know, popularity, then Golang is definitely winning in this side. What do you think? Which language attracts you more? And you will be adding that in the bucket list of 2023. So that's all for today's video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And guys, yes. Um, definitely we should upgrade ourselves with the latest technologies and these newbies coming into IT industry and to the tech world, they are definitely, these two languages definitely impacting our, impacting the industry. So if you are a newcomer planning to learn something, then I would highly recommend choose any of these two and you can go for it. So try to leverage yourself, try to upgrade yourself in the tech industry as long as you are planning to be here.